Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today should be Wednesday, January the 24th. Uh, we are going to be talking about factual claim, opinion, and commonplace assertions. Now, as you can see, I have highlighted and underlined these three things. I want you to do the same thing. On factual claim, I highlighted in orange, or you can underline it in orange. For opinion, I have it in blue. And then in commonplace assertion, I have a yellow. Now, you're going to need this possibly with your other Garrett Holvey and Chef Jamie Oliver paper. But let's look at these and see what they mean. So we have a factual claim. That's information you can prove. In other words, I can go to a book. I can go to a credible source on the Internet. Now, pay attention. I said credible. I'm not going to Wikipedia or Facebook or any type of social media to get a fa factual claim. That's not information. That information is not always true. But I'm going to a credible source to find out if my information is true, that I can prove it. For example, it says the room measures 10 feet by 12 feet. Now, that doesn't mean my classroom, but there's some room out there that measures 10 feet by 12 feet. And we could go to that room and take a tape measure and actually measure it. We can prove that. Uh, from our story on Monday about Garrett Holvey, it says that he has Down syndrome. Well, we could call his doctor um, if we could get around all the lovely personal laws that are out there. But we could look in his medical folder. We could ask him. We could ask his mom. We could ask his doctor, his trainer, and go, does Garrett have Down syndrome? Does the doctor say? And they would go, yes, look, it's in his medical folder. It's right here. It's something I can prove. I can go and find that information and prove it. Um, the next one is opinion. Now, an opinion is a person's belief, feeling, or thought. For example, green is the best color for the room. Now, opinions to me, the way I can tell if it's an opinion is if I can change it from a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive. Here, the word best. It says green is the best color for the room. Well, guess what? I think it's the worst color for the room. So if you can switch out that adjective right there and say best and switch it to worst, then that's an opinion. You may think it's the best, but I think it's the worst. I'd rather paint my room blue. Just an example. Um, another example is I think sweet tea is the best drink there ever was made. Well, guess what? Not everybody agrees with that, and I know that. Some may think it's Dr. Pepper or Coke or water or Gatorade, but that's an opinion. It's my belief. It's my feeling. It's my thought. Um, and again, if you can switch the word that's there from a positive to a negative, then most definitely it's an opinion. All right. Commonplace assertion kind of takes the two together. It's a statement that many people assume to be true, but it can't be proven. And the example they have here is an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, I'm sure out there somebody ate an apple every day, then all of a sudden got sick and had to go to the doctor. Hence why this is not true. It's called a commonplace assertion. It's something that people say all the time and they think it's true, but it's not. Okay? So that's what a commonplace assertion is. In the Garrett Holby story, it talked about MMA is a challenging combat sport. Okay? Um, true, it is a combat sport, but is it really challenging? See, my, some people may see that because it takes a lot of physical energy, but that's a commonplace assertion. It looks to be challenging, but it might not challenge everyone. So... Be real careful with commonplace assertions. All right, let's look at our worksheet for today. You should have a small copy of this, um, a three-quarter length sheet, and you should have this sheet, okay? And on this sheet, I went ahead and highlighted factual claim orange, commonplace assertion yellow, and opinion blue. And again, you can use highlighters or you can use the colored pencils to underline. Either way. All right. 
Let's start off at the very beginning. We have sugary sodas cause weight gain. Okay, do all sugary sodas cause weight gain or do just a few of them? Now, sugary sodas do have lots of sugar in them and sugar's been found to cause weight gain, but I actually know some people that those sugary sodas actually help them lose weight because of their metabolism, because their um, body speeds up and can process the sugar really, really fast. So guess what? We're gonna start off with this one right here that's hard. That is a commonplace assertion. We think it's true that the sugary sodas cause us weight, but actually it's not completely proven. Uh, there's been lots of research out there, but then again, we find research that says that they don't. So this one is B, commonplace assertion. All right, number two, a can of Coke contains 140 calories. Well, can I go buy a can of Coke and can we turn it on the back and look and see if it has 140 calories? Yes, I can do that. So I can prove that. And if I can prove it, that must mean it's a factual claim. It's a fact, Jack. I can prove it. All right, I'm going to help you with one more. Cherry limeade tastes better than Dr. Pepper. Well, you may think cherry limeade tastes better than Dr. Pepper, but guess what? I think sweet tea's the best. So that is your opinion, your thought, your feeling, but I don't feel the same way. So this one's an opinion. Okay? That's how simple this is. If you have trouble, get your neighbor to help you. Get Mr. Miller to help you. Um, they're not that hard. And think about it. Make sure that if you, hey, that's one of those sayings we see all the time. It could be a commonplace assertion. All right, let's look at the very bottom down here. It says, write one original sentence that contains an opinion about your favorite food. Well, I, I bet you could do that really easy. All right, 17. Write one original sentence that contains a commonplace assertion about school. Hmm, it sounds like it's true, but it's not true. For example, make sure you're listening. School makes us smart. Well, I don't know about you, but I've seen a lot of you that um, you're here in the school, but you don't take the information that we give you and apply it. So uh, school doesn't make you smart. It's you applying the knowledge that makes you smart. That's a commonplace assertion. School doesn't make you smart. So there's an example. If you have another example of commonplace assertion for school, then use it. All right, number 18. On here it said, write one original sentence that contains a fact about Odom Academy. Well, Miss Cole borrowed this off of the internet and printed it. Um, so we're gonna mark out Odom Academy and you're gonna write Wheat Middle School. And come on, you can write a fact about Wheat Middle School. Hello? Miss Cole teaches reading at Wheat Middle School. Hence, uh, Coach, somebody teaches something here at Wheat Middle School. That's a fact. They can look that up. It's on our website. They can walk in my classroom. Um, you can also talk about uh, someone works here at Wheat Middle School. Okay? You can also talk about they teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade at Wheat Middle School. So there's several facts that you can put down that aren't opinions. All right. With that being said, get to work. Good luck. Don't forget, ask if you need help. Raise your hand. Mr. Smith or somebody that else that is in the room will hopefully be able to, hopefully be able to help you. Hope you all have a great Wednesday. Um, if you get finished with this and there's still time left, then grab your selection from Monday about Garrett uh, Holvey and you can highlight facts and opinions. Don't try the commonplace assertions, but you can do facts and opinions, and we'll talk about it when I get back. Have a great rest of the week.